Uh, Let us again integrate this function, uh, integration of 3x squared 4x dx. So, in integration, it is always good to do a u substitution. So, I am going to substitute or uh, do a u substitution of 4x. So, u let u is equal to 4x. So, differentiating both sides, I can say that du by dx is equal to 4, which implies 1 quarter du is equal to dx. Okay, so this whole thing uh, changes to uh, integration of 3 6 squared uh, u times 1 quarter du. So this is nothing but 3 quarter integration of 6 squared uh, u du. Okay. So you should know, uh, if you know the differentiation, okay, so let me write that. Uh, so d by dx, d by dx of uh, 6 squared, uh, sorry, d by dx of 10x is 6 squared x, okay. You can look, look this up in your formula sheets. You can also prove this, which implies uh, integration is the opposite, so integration of 6 squared x is equal to 10x, okay. So, if you know differentiation, you can write the integration conversely. So, this is equal to, let me bring back my red color. So, this is nothing but 3 quarter times, this difference integrates to, so this I should write dx here, dx here, okay. So, differentiating, or sorry, integrating this, this is 10 u plus c, okay. So, now finally writing in terms of x, you can say integration of 3 6 squared 4x dx is equal to, oops, is equal to, some of them Skype, so that is, 3 quarter times 10, 10 4x plus c. So, this is your answer. I am not going to do the, you can differentiate the right hand side and you will get the left hand side. I want to do four examples in this video. So, if you differentiate this, you will get this. So, that will be pretty easy. You can do that yourself. Okay. So, now here again, let us do a u substitution of the the 1 minus 2x. So, I am going to say let u is equal to 1 minus 2x, which implies du by dx is equal to minus 2, which implies minus half du is equal to dx. I am trying to move a bit faster in this video. Hopefully, you can understand. Okay, so this becomes integration of sine u times negative half du. I can take the negative half out. So, this is negative half integration of sine u du. Now, sine differentiates to cos and cos differentiates. So, let me write the formula. So, d by dx d by dx of cos x is negative sin x, okay, which implies integration of sin x dx is negative cos x. So, I am going to use this formula. So, sin x differentiates to negative cos x because cos x differentiates to negative sin x. So, using that formula, I can say uh, this is nothing but negative half times negative cos u plus c. So, we want to write in terms of x. So, therefore, integration of uh, integration of sine 1 minus 2x dx is negative and negative becomes 
positive so that is half half cos 1 minus 2x plus c so this is your answer so let us check this and see whether this answer is right by differentiating this so let me use a different color so checking or check so we are going to find differentiate d by dx of half of cos 1 minus 2x plus c so this is you can do it uh, in your head so first you'll write the half and you differentiate the inside first so this differentiates to uh, negative 2 times cos differentiates to negative sine 1 minus 2x okay this is also good practice of differentiation and then this differentiates to 0 constant differentiates to 0 so this this and this gets cancelled so you get so negative and negative becomes positive so there's nothing but sine 1 minus 2x so our answer is right next question what would you integrate uh, what would you do the u substitution it should be pretty easy now so u is equal to 2x okay i'll let u is equal to 2x which implies du by dx is 2 which implies half du is equal to dx so this is nothing but integration of 3 i can take the 3 out integration of th uh, 3 times integration of cosec u cot u times half du that is nothing but 3 over 2 integration of cosec u cot u du okay so this is integration of minus cosec u cot u is cosec cosec u so this would be finally this is minus uh, this will integrate to minus cosec u plus c and uh, so the final answer is the integration of 3 or oh, 3 was already there so sorry so you have got uh, you can put a 3 over 2 yeah okay hope constant we can leave out so this is nothing but I'll rewrite I forgot the 3 over 2 so this is nothing but 1.5 cosec uh, negative for sake u plus c or oh, which is nothing but minus 1.5 cosec u cosec u plus c so integration of 3 cosec 2x cot 2x dx is nothing but minus 1.5 times cosec 2x plus c is your answer okay so how can we check our answer you can do this yourself when you when you differentiate this okay when you differentiate this you will get this okay i think you can do that and finally this question okay let me use a different color now again this is an interesting question 1 plus x or sorry 1 minus x or 1 plus x so as a rule of thumb let us take the denominator as u which is 1 plus x so which implies du is equal to dx now the interesting thing is to change the denominator the numerator in terms of u so i've got an x here i want to make this negative x so I, i'm multiplying with negative 1 this is negative 1 negative x okay multiplying with negative 1 on both sides now i'm going to add what to both sides think about it i should add what to give you get plus 1 i've got a negative 1 so i should add 2 to this side to get plus 1 so i have to add 2 to this side this implies that 2 minus u 
is same as 1 minus x. Okay, so this whole thing changes to integration of 2 minus u over u du. This, this is pretty easy. This is nothing but integration of 2 over u minus u over u du. Okay, so this becomes integration of 2 times 1 over u minus 1 du. So now you have to integrate both. So this is nothing but 2 natural log of u minus u plus c. Okay, this is integration of 2 minus u over u du. Let me put this in the bracket. Okay, therefore, you can say integration of 1 minus x over 1 plus x dx is equal to 2 natural log of 1 plus x minus I should use 1 plus x properly 1 plus x modulus minus uh, minus uh, I can put 1 plus x plus c. Okay, so let me check the answer. So d by dx, checking my answer, I'm differentiating this to get this. So the d by dx of 2 times natural log of uh, 1 minus x, sorry, 1 plus x dx, sorry, 1 plus x minus d by dx of 1 plus x plus d by dx of c. Okay, so this becomes, so this is nothing but 2 times, the differentiation of inside is 1 times 1 over 1 plus x minus differentiation of this is 1, okay, and this is 0. So this is nothing but 2 over 1 plus x minus 1 over 1. So if you're multiplying this with 1 plus x, let me multiply this with 1 plus x, and this also is 1 plus x. So this is 2 over 1 plus x minus 1 plus x over 1 plus x. Now you can open the brackets. Okay, so a common denominator, so this is 1 minus, 2 minus 1 minus x over 1 plus x. So there's nothing but 1 minus x over 1 plus x. So you can be absolutely confident. You can give two stars and three smiley faces. See you in the